Hi, I'm Sam. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to use a Bunsen burner safely and effectively for your science experiments. Safety first. Before using a Bunsen burner, make sure you're wearing safety goggles. If you have long hair, tie it back to keep it away from the flame. If you have a tie as part of your school uniform, then make sure that it is tucked away too. Let's get familiar with the parts of the Bunsen burner. Here we have the base, the gas inlet, the air hole and the collar. The collar controls the airflow which affects the flame type. First, connect the rubber hose from the Bunsen burner to the gas tap on your lab bench. Make sure it's snug and secure. Before lighting the Bunsen burner, ensure the air hole is closed by turning the collar. This will produce a yellow safety flame, which is easier to see. Turn on the gas tap slowly. You'll hear the gas flowing. Now use a lighter or a match to light the burner at the top. You've got a yellow safety flame. This flame is cooler and more visible. To achieve a hotter blue flame, open the air hole by adjusting the collar. This allows more oxygen to mix with the gas. A blue flame is hotter and ideal for most experiments. Always make sure to turn the flame back to yellow when you're not actively using it. Never leave the Bunsen burner unattended while it's lit. If you need to leave, turn off the gas. When you're finished, turn off the gas tap completely to extinguish the flame. When you finish your practical, do make sure that it's cool enough to be put away safely. Take off the rubber tube from the gas tap and you can hold it very easily by the rubber tubing and then put that safely back in the box where you got it from. Find inspiring lessons, ideas and planning and developingexperts.com.